Hi everyone, this is Riddle Hacker Asia Raven. I'm here with my reaction review of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season Number Eight, Episode Number Seven, which is titled Forensic Queens. And from the promo material, I know that this in this particular episode, the maxi challenge is supposed to be like an improv challenge of some sort, where the queens have to figure out a case. Now, in the previous episode, Candy ended up eliminating James, which I was like, Ugh, like. <sighs> Eliminating, eliminating James instead of Kahana, who has been in the bottom way too many times, I'm like, mm, mm, like Candy, for, in my opinion, Candy is playing the game, and you know what? Frankly, I would have done the same thing, because in my opinion, James is a better competitor compared to Kahana, but you know what? Let's see who the other queens voted for. One for James. Two for James. Mm. Three for James. So it was unanimous. They were all playing the game. They were like, James, you need to go. Which, hey, I understand. I understand. Oh, okay. Okay, Alex. Candy letting the role go. Mm -hmm. so she did set up. You do it. She has a point. She has a point. She has a point. Alexis was like, they're the same, right? And to do it. Yeah, Candy is like, I, I, I I'm with Candy on this one. Like, you don't get to cry and emotionally blackmail me. Yeah. It is. It is. It's, it's kind of like a tactic, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Heidi left, Alexis is crying, Kahana now wants to leave. What's happening in this season? How much pressure are these queens under? Okay, Rue's Rue's coming in. Yeah, Rue's like, I guess Rue's like, I can't keep on losing queens. Come on now. <laughs> But what about but the mental health thing, huh? Is that really healthy, though? Is that really healthy, though? And you're 
emotional child giving crying this whole conversation. <laughs> we are all sensitive children. I know your stories. But she got a little bit of love. Far. Don't let your feelings sabotage your bigger picture. You know, you're building your empires here. You want to be on top of the world. Yeah, Heidi oh, leaving really got so to so rule, huh? Yeah. This is a fun experience. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, okay. this is a fun experience. Okay, okay no, if you say so. <laughs> yeah, Heidi, Heidi didn't even got there. He's like, no, no more. No more. I was very excited, especially because Mr. Pumpkin was my idol. Hey. It's so secret that me and Little Pumpkin cut our differences. I didn't like the bitch. The makeup is still terrible. And your boa are chicken feathers. Sorry, Sherry Coleman. Would you state your name for our audience? Uh huh. It's Sha. We shall call it the Sha is Valley. Oh, my mom didn't know how to spell it. I'm a former stripper. I used to work out for the big booty bandit on Pine Street in Atlanta, Georgia. I had changed my life over and I came to you to revive. Oh, Rue Rosen. Detective Anita Clue went to the old and he was to investigate. With a banana. First of all, this is going to be televised, right? Uh -huh. I'm not really a detective. I'm more of a nosy ass bitch. <laughs> the nosy ass bitch quickly made it sound. Aha, uh -huh, Jimbo. Who was called in to search for clues forensically. Mm. I examine stains, smells, sometimes tastes. I also keep this meal, my stink finger. This stink finger has swabs, swipes, and samples that a crime scene have encountered. One stiff of my stink finger, and it helps me examine what I'm talking okay, about. Hey, Alexis. Originally, I am from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Flatbush, to be exact. <laughs> because after a night with me, every bush was flat. I've worked thousands of cases in my long career. This case has more holes in it than Michelle Passage. Uh, so okay. I'm just securing the premises. I don't know why they put my name. Uh huh. Uh huh. Lala. Close circuit cameras all over the <laughs> is that Rue? Oh no, it's Rue for the enactment, reenactment thingy. Yeah, Rue was like a queen. Don't leave the competition. I'm gonna try and make this fun. Come on now, don't leave. Miss Fell in the Blanks. Who the fuck? Oh, Jessica Wilde. She is Miss. Miss Sausage Party. This look is very processed. A lot of baloney. To win this title, I have to Okay. Okay. I think she'll be safe. Oh. Miss Tired. Uh huh. Honey, if she's tired, I'm exhausted. I'm dead. Okay. Okay. Like nothing we haven't seen Kana do before, right? Like it's in her wheelhouse. Oh. I actually like Lala in in the in the improv challenge. I really liked her. Hopefully she wins. I think it's gonna be between her and Jimbo. Oh, oh. Miss Arrogant? She doesn't look arrogant. <laughs> she doesn't look arrogant. I'm not getting Miss Arrogant from her. Oh. Oh. I am walking down this runway, mm. looking like the most beautiful, sparkling, glamorous jockstrap you've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, the jockstrap. Hey, Carson, what's the red bandana mean again? Is it red or is it brown? Oh, I can't. Mm. Let me Google it real quick before I make a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm repping my mm -hmm. Yankee code with this train. Mm. It's McGee. Uh, of course. Oh, triggers. Ooh. Are you having some memories? <laughs> Memory. Of course. Yeah, it's gonna be between uh, Jimbo and Lala.
Lowry. Lowry. Yeah, give it to her. Give it to Lala. Good for her. She finally won a maxi challenge. <laughs> oh, $5,000. Mm -hmm. Jessica. Candy. Oh. Jimbo. Oh, safe. You are safe. Mm -hmm. So that means that Kahana and Alexis are a lot of Oh, Kahana needs to go. But if you're playing the game, this is a very good chance to get Alexis out. Like, out of there. Georges! Mm -hmm. It's Georges, one of Ruth's favorite queen. The song is okay about them dying by Lizzo. It's a very fun song. So let's do this Lala versus Georges. Pressure. Mm -hmm. The it's about <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I think Lala is doing a better job of lip syncing the actual words and giving me the feeling. George's isn't really like giving me much here instead of being pretty. Oh. Yeah, I think Lala is gonna win this. Lala is gonna win this. Yeah. She won like what? 10,000 now? So that's a total of $15,000. Well, let's see who she chose to eliminate. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. But still, if we were going with how Alexis watered James out, Jane, uh, Kahana had a win. So Alexis was like, James had to go. And I think Alexis is the only one who doesn't have a win, so... But she's still here. That was episode number seven. Yeah, episode number seven. Kahana is out. And I still think that James should have still been around. I think James would have really killed it during the improv challenge. Just me. But anyway, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.